Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette here with the next video, and this is a live attack video. Uh, once again, I think la like the last one or two live attacks I've done, uh, this is going to be in the form of a, of a friendly challenge. So it doesn't have the same implications that it typically does, but it kind of ensures I can get a you know a good solid war base, a uh, good attack on that, and even attack it a few times, which the live attacks like, in the wars can't do. So I want to continue to. Uh, to, to record attacks of me attacking in war, but right now I'm just not doing many wars, so that's the reason you guys are seeing some of these. So hope you like the kind of replacement. It shouldn't be permanent. I should be able to eventually get back to the actual live attacks themselves. So this picture is a little bit blurry, but this is Thor's base. Shout out to Thor for volunteering to let me uh, to attack one of his bases and have it shown on the channel. And uh, I'll go ahead and go through my plan. Don't haven't had the most amount of time to to do this, but I think I should be able to have a good plan that can at least get close on the first attack then maybe clean it up if he has time for a second or a third attack so let's talk through it and uh, one thing before I say is I want to kind of give my suspicion the reason I'm doing this strategy I think mass Valks have more potential than we think at Town Hall uh, 10 especially on these bases that are kind of spread out a Queen Walk can be a good opener and then the Valks can kind of help her out and allow her to stay up the entire attack if you send the Valks in kind of adjacent to the Queen they can kind of protect her, and she can then kind of resi reside to doing only some uh, minimal work, taking out defenses one at a time, once you've already cycled through the rages and the ability you have for her. So I think this can be a powerful strategy. Also, I'm not um, bringing any jumps. I think jumps, I've said this before, overrated at Town Hall 10. I don't think they're needed. I uh, don't think we need uh, to, to really direct the Valks as much because the power is just them being inside the base no matter where they go. I have two rages, two heals, a freeze. I'm just going to let them go loose in this base. So anyway, specifically the plan, uh, let me go through it, draw it out in the Udoodle app. I love this Udoodle app, by the way. Not product placement. I just want to say it's an awesome app. <laughs> I'm not getting paid for that. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm going to start off with a minion right here for that. Then a baby dragon like right here just to kind of help create the funnel for my queen. She's going to charge her way on in, so I'm going to drop her right here with five healers on her, wall breaker right around that area, and just let her come in here, use her rage. There's not really any expos. This one might be a little bit in range, but not really. And because of that, it makes it a great place to do a queen walk. No expos and initially no inferno tower. A great place to do a queen walk when you see that as the opportunity uh, to have that, that area where there's not much damage, like I said. So we're going to have her come in here, probably just take out all of this realistically, then make her way over here, step up for that Inferno. By the time she gets to that Inferno, unless there's like a Tesla farm or something, uh, there shouldn't be much damage. That Archer Tower can't reach, that Expo likely can't reach. Just really not much damage besides the Inferno Tower, assuming there's no Teslas there. And uh, obviously she'll deal with the CC troops in this area. Probably will have to use the uh, the ability for them because uh, typically when you have the CC troops and point defense, a rage can be risky. I'm not sure if I'll hit a Seeking Air Mine. That'll put me down to only four healers if so, which makes it even riskier. So oftentimes against these Town Hall 10 bases with the higher level point defense, this one's not even maxed out, but it's close. It has the next level up. Uh, they can, it can be risky only using the rage when you're doing with both CC troops and the uh, defenses. So that being said, uh, the queen should step up for that Inferno. As she's making her way towards it, I'm going to come in with a place a few Valks to take that out. Because if I do it right, they should join up right here. So they should kind of create their own funnel for themselves. Then I'm probably going to drop like a wizard right here. And uh, my king. I'm not sure exactly the order, but it'll it'll happen. I have a CC full of bowlers. I think they're a good backup to the mass Valk. They can kind of sit back, uh, help out on defenses that can't be reached. By the Valks themselves because they're sitting back behind walls. Uh, they should just kind of come in here. Uh, they might have to take out that storage which might put them through an extra wall but I don't know. I think it should be okay. Anyway the goal is they'll eventually get to this compartment and just kind of make their way through. Now initially they shouldn't have to deal with any infernos. I have two heals so I should just be able to heal them there and maybe even like in this area with a freeze for the inferno. So they should be at pretty much full health. And I'm hoping that, you know, the Teslas will go down. If there's a Tesla farm in here, that could be kind of problematic. But I'm hoping that the uh, just things will start to go down. And by the time they get to that last Inferno, there's not much point defense left. I have a few hogs just to kind of put in here or here or even on this side. I think I have four hogs just to kind of get those distracted defenses. 
Um, but anyway, that's basically the plan as far as spells. Like I said, I have the two rages, probably both for the queen, uh, have her ability too. And if I have a leftover rage, I'll just use it on the Valks. Two heal spells for those Valks, a freeze uh, for the back end Inferno. I also have a poison for the CC and a scaly spell for the queen right here. I'm thinking that while she's distracted uh, with the troops beating on this first wall, uh, just drop it right on her, should take her out pretty quickly, as well as distract some other defenses. So that's all good. I think the plan is pretty solid. Not expecting, uh, you know, it to go successful right away, but it might be the basis of a of a later three star attack. Should I attack this base multiple times, which is something I've done in the past. So, uh, right, real quick, I guess you can pause the video, uh, see what you would do on this base, see if you agree with my plan, if you think it'll go for a three star, if you think it'll fail. It's been a while since I've three starred in these live attacks, I believe. So this would be a nice one to get, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and splice out so I can do a few things, train a few troops that I haven't trained yet, and fill my CC, and then from there, I'll be ready to attack. So I'll be right back at the beginning of the attack. Okay, I think everything's ready to go. Uh, let's see if we can uh, take out this base. Got the giant, and uh, we're all set here. <clears throat> uh, we have Valks in the CC. I was the only one on to donate, actually, so... Uh, I guess in a way it's kind of like a partial cleanup attack, but let's see if we can kind of stick to the plan and get this thing taken care of. All right, so let's go with the minion, oops, minion, baby dragon, and in just a moment we'll get the queen working. All right, there's our queen, five healers to her, and... One, two, might as well get all these guys going. Get in there, open that up. Oh, didn't get it. We'll see if we can make an adjustment. Um, might have to drop a minion next time for a wall breaker if I can hit this base again. Uh, don't see a way we're going to, unless the Valk can target that wall. Or the Queen's on the wall, okay. That works. Get that rage down. Okie dokie. Here's the poison, gonna have to use the ability anyway. Whew, all right. Get ready for the ability. Boom. I think I had to use that. Wasn't that close. Let's get the Valks getting about to get ready. King. Um. I'm gonna get some Valks going to the top, unfortunately. Don't like things spreading out that much. That's an adjustment that could be made right there. Let's get a heal down, rage down. Let's get this poison for the queen. We got Valks going all over the place. Good queen walk though, so that's encouraging. I guess we'll go ahead and heal in here for the bowlers. Um, let's get some of these hogs ready just to kind of support the Valks. We have a freeze, which will drop right there. Things looking pretty good despite the odds. We'll drop a hog there. Might have a good shot at this one, guys. I'm liking it. Is this going to be a fresh three for me? I mean, I wasn't even... <laughs> Honestly, this was not that planned of an attack. Let's get these hogs and get that Inferno. Oh, boy. I think we got this one. This base is wrapped up. Boom. Plenty of troops left up too. Just these mass Valks. Somehow, some way, got the job done. Anything left up? 98. Just that. We'll drop the wizard on it. That one's GG, guys. That's a fresh three. Don't know how it happened, really. Plan uh, was kind of hast hastily done. Thor actually is on break at work, so um, didn't have a whole lot of time to plan this one out. But boom, went for a three. Uh, and he's even, <laughs> that even got him pumped up. Um, wish I could do that in more of the, some of the CWL wars, but uh, I guess, you know, when the pressure's not on, it's easy to get the three star, especially when you know it's in the CC. Not that it helped. I had to use the ability anyway, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I was thinking I'd have to attack this base more, um, or maybe he has another base. Um, I'll try another if you can. 
yeah, he might have another base for us. So I guess no plan this time going into it. We'll just take a look at this, the scout, maybe gem a few things as needed, and try to hit this next base on the fly. Um, so once again, guys, you can kind of pause, see what you might do. Let's scout out the base. Um, I think he might be one of the band members, so he's probably not too worried about um, you know having all his bases exposed because he's going to need new bases anyway. Um, queen walk, we can maybe do something up top here. Um, or at the bottom, that would take a lot of spells though for an investment. I'm thinking we'll queen walk up here, drop down the queen right around there, um, let her kind of make her way through, wall breaker in right around here, and then send the Valks in, I guess just straight in at the inferno on this right side here, maybe on the top side. Um, Let's just go for it, guys. Same army comp. This thing seems powerful. No jumps. You know, two rages, two heals, uh, the freeze. This thing, this thing seems powerful. Um, so let's go ahead and try it out here on this base. Okay, let's get the baby dragon up here. Yeah, we're probably going to need the baby dragon to get all this stuff cleared out. Thought that might happen. I was worried because there wasn't much air coverage, so I'm thinking, yeah, this one might go down. Um, so that's unfortunate, but hopefully the queen will still go the right way. Uh, we'll try to get one more minion down to try to clear things out. As soon as that cannon goes down, she should be back up. And it looks like she's going to go the right way. Target that mortar. Come on. Come on. Ah, maybe she'll go back. She might go for that wall, which would be pretty, that would be a, a bad scenario if she went for that wall. Okay. All right, this is working out. Valk. One, two, three, four. Get through that wizard tower. That one wall breaker kind of tanked. All right, we will get a wizard up there just to speed things up. Come on, don't let those healers go down. We might lose one healer. Step up to that AD. Nope. Have to pop the ability to move this along. She might get on that town hall even before the air defense. Yep. Um. This yeah. This thing's going south. Let's get these Valks in while we can to support our queen. Um, we'll drop the king to create the funnel there. We'll drop our bowlers back here. It is pretty much, yeah, she'll go down to that expo. So she's going to be down. She's, I guess, done her part, you could say. Uh, let's get that heal down for the Valks. Poison. We'll get the skelly ready for the queen. Um, start sprinkling in some hogs here. Freeze, skelly, rage. Just dropping everything at this point. Um, not going to be a three star, but I think if the queen, you know, can get that air defense, I don't know how it would be done. And she's still up somehow. I guess the expo wasn't enough to take her out. Um, this one's obviously not going to go for anything, but if I can figure out a way to get the queen in to get that air defense taken out, there might be some potential here. Maybe come at the other side. I'm not sure if there's an air defense on the other side. Symmetrically, we can go ahead and end this right here. See if Thor has time. Um, I think he might. I'll say time for one more. Okay, it looks like he's all right. So scout real quick, then we'll go for it. Um, <clears throat> actually, let's start the queen. Well, that might be risky. But let's try starting her all the way down here on... Uh, let's give him a thanks because it's the last time I'll talk to him tonight. Um, start the queen all the way down the bottom and just let her work her way all the way up maybe. Uh, that might be worth doing. So let's uh, let's start her all the way at the bottom here. We'll go ahead and put down some minions. Minion, minion. Let's just throw all of them down. Why not? Uh, drop down the queen and our five healers. She should step up for that mortar in just a moment. And shouldn't have to use anything on her for a while. I mean, not much point defense, no expos. Get that lab so she doesn't target it. Okay. Only concern is that she might jump the gun and try to go for one of those elixir storages if the next thing isn't close enough. But I think for the most part, as long as she can get up to that archer tower, if right here she targets the barracks, then goes for the wall, might be in trouble. But if she keeps moving forward, I think she will. Yeah, we should be good. The cannon should be targeted. Uh, we got to get these wall breakers ready so, she, so they enter her in right at the beginning here. As soon as that goes down. Okay, let's get these wall breakers going. Right there. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, I think we're good. Maybe we even too perfect. Opened up the, uh, we'll get this rage down. 
opened up the Inferno Tower potentially. But let's see if she can keep working. Get that air defense. We'll lose one healer, it looks like. That's fine. Uh, needed to keep walking up north. Uh, let's see. We'll have to use the ability. Yeah, the ability right there. Hopefully those Valks aren't too much trouble. Put a Valk of our own to try to get that one taken out. Rage. This one, Okay. The Queen is struggling for sure. We're going to have to get these Valks started soon. There's the King. Try to create the funnel for the King himself. Um, and here are the Valks. There are the Bowlers. Okay, don't have the Queen's ability, so I think she's okay. She'll meet up with the Kill Squad here. I have the Freeze, the two heals, and the Skelly spell. Go ahead and get that first heal down soon. Not quite yet. First heal spell. Might, might have even been a little early still. Um, they're on the wall there. Get this freeze ready. God, if they went through that wall, that would have been better. Um, get through that wall. Freeze. Heal. Skelly spell. Let's see how that thing works out. Got some hogs ready. For when this stuff is being tanked. I guess right now. Best time. Um... Have the king's ability. The queen still working. Look at that. Amazing. Don't know if this one's going to go for a three, but it might have a shot. Um, get the archer on the builder's hut. There's one at the bottom, so that pretty much is a deal breaker. But pretty solid stuff here. The king will get in there. He'll get the inferno tower taken out. Um, have the baby dragon doing some work. So uh, not going to get this base three-starred, but that first one, I'd still take that. you know. Um, and I guess... I mean, I was planning at least a little bit for the first one. This was just kind of a imp improv attack. So, yeah, hope you guys liked the video. I uh, just wanted to test out my attacking skills, show you guys some stuff at Town Hall 10. Like I said, guys, I think that, you know, sometimes at Town Hall 10, you know, we're trying to be very meticulous, use these air attacks, very planned out. But I think just brute force can work. These Valks are powerful. Let's not forget that. And uh, the jumps, you know... They're predictable, but sometimes that unpredictability is worth it, especially when it allows you to bring another rage or a heal or a freeze. And uh, that skelly spell on the queen, while she's not, um, while she's not uh, able to defend herself, is also a good thing because people underestimate the defensive heroes at Town Hall Ten. You're always thinking about the defensive queen at Town Hall Nine, but at Town Hall Ten, not the case as much. And uh, I think that if you consider that a little bit more, it can help with your attacks. So. Um, shout out to Thor for the two bases. I guess he's planning on not warring anytime soon. He might be one of the band members, like I said. I'm not entirely sure. So that'll do it for this video. More stuff, uh, talking more about the, um, the situation of Genesis 2. Uh, I don't want to make a video when I only know half the stuff, though. We're still figuring things out, still making some plans for the future, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to wait till I know exactly what's going on, then I'll let you guys know for sure. So, uh, stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in the next video, though. Bye, Sectatron out.